Alrighty guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about a new show on TLC that was just announced called 1000 Pound Best Friends. Before we get too deep into the video, I would love to ask if you enjoy these videos, a thumbs up really is appreciated. It really does help out the video and the channel a ton. So if you enjoy the video, a thumbs up would be awesome. This new show features Megan and Angela, who if you actually have been watching the channel for a little bit, you will know those names because I actually talked about them in a previous video because they were actually on a show called Too Large in the past where they kind of talked about the beginning of their journey. I'm Megan Crumpler, 42, and I'm from Stockbridge, Georgia. I fear for my life daily because of my weight. There are nights when I lay in bed and pray, God, please don't let this be it. Because you feel a pain, you're like, am I going to have a heart attack? My next step is to have bariatric surgery. And I'm going to do it. I'm Vanessa, and I'm 41. I met Megan in junior high. This girl has been with me. Ride or die through it, and if anybody says anything to me, she got my back. I found this doctor. He does weight loss surgeries, and I think Dr. Proctor, he could save your life. I don't want to. I'm not let him do it for you. But I can walk. I can drive. I get around. I do it. I mean, I take care long? of my kids by myself. But for how long? Do you not want to see your kids have kids? Now, in that episode and in that show, it was a very big point of contention between the two, between um, Megan and Angela, because... So I am currently editing this video, and uh, I am realizing that I am a dummy. I used the wrong name in the entire video. So I say, Angela, the woman's name is Vanessa. I apologize. My bad. Everything still stands, but I, just every time I say the wrong name, please just understand it's that name. <laughs> Megan ended up wanting to get a weight loss surgery and she actually went through with it. And then Angela was not down to get a weight loss surgery, but she was saying that she wanted to lose weight. And so that was kind of a big point of contention in that show, in the episode that they had. <laughs> Since the beginning of my journey, I lost 160 pounds. You know <laughs> doing good. I've lost, you know, like 20 pounds. I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to completely change my life. And a couple of weeks ago, I saw Dr. Proctor for a weigh-in. 427. <laughs> You're down 20 pounds. What it seems like to me with this show is that people really liked their episode of Too Large and people wanted more. And so it seems like this show is picking up where that where that show basically left off. And it's showing that Megan has actually lost quite a bit of weight. I think she's lost close to 200 pounds at the beginning of the show, right? So she's already lost a significant amount of weight when this show is starting, which is actually really cool because if you saw that previous video, Megan was in a very bad place at the start of that episode. She was basically living on oxygen, almost pretty much stuck at home. Like she was always connected to her oxygen machine. And so the fact that she has lost so much weight and like how she looks and how much she's moving in the beginning of the show is really, really cool. I'm Vanessa and this is my best friend, Megan. Me and this girl have been struggling with our weight since junior high. We is big. We big as hell. Last year, we decided to have weight loss surgery. We're gonna be just fine. Megan got the surgery, but I didn't. Maintaining my diet has been damn near impossible. I'm sick and tired of being fat and tired. I don't want to give up this time. But we definitely know what that's like. Yeah. It's not like you're talking to a bunch of skinny bitches. Our other best friends, Ashley and Tina, they're trying to help us through this, and actually, they want to lose weight, too. I just can't keep it going. I gotta move the skips. I can't do it. I'm jealous of the fact that she did it. It made it look so easy. It ain't that easy. You're nowhere near ready for surgery. If you don't figure out a way to do this, you're not going to be around a whole lot longer. But basically, it seems like it's picking up from where that show ended, and it's showing, you know, Megan is losing all of this weight, and Angela is struggling. And now, another thing that they actually added into the show is there's two other women that they are, are showing. Now, I, this is me being, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, which is fine, but I just, I never trust these shows, man. I don't know what to say. I just don't trust them anymore, because I, the thousand, or the uh, one-ton family, 
as I've said before, with my with my friend Casey, they weren't even a freaking family. And so, who knows? Maybe maybe these are all actually friends, but I would not be surprised if they weren't. I'm fine with being wrong on that one, but I'm just saying, just I'm just putting it out there. Another thing that a lot of people are pointing out is that this show is obviously very similar to another show that's on TLC. Now, the most glaring thing that's similar between these shows is obviously the name. Thousand Pound Sisters, <laughs> Thousand Pound Best Friends. TLC, killing it with the naming. You guys know what works. I love to see it. But also, as you can see in the, uh, if you, in the previous videos and everything, it's clear that Angela is a lot like Tammy and Megan is a lot like Amy. Now, what do I mean by that? So Megan was able to lose a lot of weight get the weight loss surgery that she wanted, and she is progressing through that journey. Angela didn't get the surgery. Now, there is a little bit of a difference because Tammy, at least in the beginning of A Thousand Pound Sisters, did want the surgery, and she said that that's, you know, she wanted to work towards that. The beginning of At Least Too Large, Angela was like, I don't want to get a surgery. Now, it seems like the beginning of this show, she does want to get the surgery, but one person has gotten the surgery, things are working out for them, one person hasn't gotten the surgery, and who knows? I, you never know what the show is going to do, but I really, at least I really hope that it doesn't turn into the exact same thing where the showrunners and the producers make it seem like Angela is now very jealous of Megan because she has lost the weight, because that literally would be the same exact plot as A Thousand Pound Sisters. I was actually going to put this as a difference, but <laughs> honestly, I think it's actually a similarity now because I was gonna say, Thousand Pound Best Friends, it has four people, it's more than just two. And I was gonna say, well, Thousand Pound Sisters was about the two, but now Thousand Pound Sisters has like the whole family. So there's this whole cast of people. So it's there's a lot of similarities between both of these shows, which makes sense to me because again, you know, TLC, they're, they're business. They're trying to make money and Thousand Pound Sisters is a very popular show. So of course it makes sense that they're gonna try and replicate that in any way that they can. And it seems like that's what this show is doing. I am honestly excited to see where the show goes and if there are differences between the two shows. I really hope that there are. It's not just a copy paste job. But with more shows like this coming out, especially the shows that are following a, a set group of people for a long period of time, it makes me really hope that these shows are doing a better job of like having aftercare for the people that are on the shows because I'm not, I'm not here saying that the show, if you're on the show, now the show has to take care of everything that you need in your life, right? I'm not saying that, but if it's something that's directly related to what the show is documenting, I think having some sort of aftercare is important and really helpful for the people that are on these, you know, these, these TV shows. So the person that comes to mind is Casey that we brought up earlier. He lost a ton of weight, a ton of weight. It's insane. He's kept it off for a few years now, but obviously with that he has a ton of loose skin and the show at least to the best of my knowledge hasn't helped him in that endeavor pay for that helped him get that that loose skin you know get rid of it he was actually recently on a podcast with Ethan Klein from H3H3 and they actually raised a ton of money to help him get the surgery which is awesome but in my head I'm just like the show why not why not like follow up? That could be a cool episode anyways, right? So for me, I just, I really hope that these shows, especially the ones that are following certain people for a long period of time, I hope that they do a good job of taking care of those people for the things that the show are related to. I'm not saying they have to, you know, take care of all their kids and everything like that, but take care of, you know, if there's loose skin from the surgery, if you're having some mental health issues from being a, 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 a nobody, right, then being thrust into this spotlight. Because if you watch these videos, even on YouTube, they're getting hundreds of thousands of views. Tons of people are sharing their thoughts about you. Tons of people now know who you are and that's going to, you know, cause you some mental health issues. Like it's, it's a very common thing. And so I just hope that these shows do a good job helping those people after the show is done rolling. That's basically all I have to say. I'm really curious if you are going to watch. It's really crazy to me that 
this is becoming a niche in reality TV. Like extreme weight loss television is becoming a very popular thing now. And it's just something that I never saw coming. So I'm kind of curious. Are you guys going to watch this? What do you think about it? Uh, do you think it's too similar? Do you, are you just kind of curious to see once it comes out? I would love to know what you think. But thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.